Israel has taken a significant leap in modernizing its artillery capabilities with the introduction of the ROEM 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer. Citing Israeli military sources and confirmed by the Jerusalem Post on July 12, 2024, the new generation howitzer conducted its first operational firing in June 2024 and will be deployed with an Israel Defense Forces IDF, unit in the coming year. For years, Israel has been working on developing this futuristic artillery system to transform the IDF into a superior artillery force. The ROEM, a large gun mounted on the back of a wheeled vehicle, marks a departure from the current Israeli artillery, which primarily uses the M109 155mm tracked self-propelled howitzer. Although the ROEM fires the same caliber shells as its predecessor, it represents a substantial investment in new technology within the IDF. This transition can be compared to the shift from older jet fighters to the advanced F-35 warplanes. The new system is expected to provide enhanced maneuverability and a higher firing rate, significantly improving the IDF's artillery capabilities. In June, the IDF provided a preview of the new system's capabilities. A video produced by the IDF and an article on its website showcased the first operational use of the ROEM. According to the IDF, it is the first cannon in the world capable of automatic firing, highlighting its advanced technology and operational efficiency. Major Franz, a seasoned officer who has been in service since 2004 and is well acquainted with the M109S, explained that the ROEM project has been in development for decades. The new howitzer, developed by the Israeli company Elbit Systems, is already considered one of Israel's premier security projects. Most of its internal components remain classified, with only a handful of prototypes in existence. One of these prototypes has been modified for potential foreign customers, and a European variant reportedly has a firing range of up to 80 kilometers. The ROEM is expected to be more maneuverable and have a higher firing rate than the M109, allowing for a reduction in the size of artillery units. A standard battery of M109S, typically consisting of around 8 guns, can be downsized to about 60% of the number of vehicles previously used. This downsizing will also free up crews to perform other tasks. In May 2023, Elbit Systems released a video showing the ROEM howitzer performing live mobility demonstrations and live firing tests. The ROEM is based on a modified 10x10 US Oshkosh truck chassis, with a crew cabin at the front and an automatic artillery weapon system mounted at the rear. It features a 155mm-52 caliber cannon with an automatic loading and laying gun system, rapid in and out action times, and a high rate of fire. The ROEM offers a protected cabin for a crew of three and is capable of automatically selecting and loading the required projectile, propellant, and fuse, and laying the gun to optimally engage targets. Its wheeled system provides greater mobility than the tracked M109, with a firing range of up to 40 kilometers, 25 miles. The European variant, according to the Judean, will have an even greater firing range of up to 80 kilometers, 50 miles. The deployment of the ROEM howitzer is set to revolutionize the IDF's artillery capabilities, offering advanced technology, greater maneuverability, and enhanced firepower. As the IDF continues to integrate this new system, Israel's artillery forces will be better equipped to address a wide range of threats and operational scenarios.